Tonight, from her humble beginnings as a perpetually emerging Colombian-Canadian artist named Lido Pimienta, to her meteoric rise to global fame, this is Path to Success. In 2020, Lido Pimienta was truly on the cusp of a mainstream breakthrough. She had this growing fan base. Her albums were winning award after award, and she was touring the world. But her image needed a little bit of work. I mean, it was nothing major, really. It was just the politics thing and the whole her being Colombian thing and the fact that she was racist against whites. She was clearly ready for global stardom, but first we needed to make her a little less threatening and a little more palatable to a wider audience. She was great, but there can only be so many non-white megastars at any one time. The world already had two and a half. What happened next set Lido Pimienta on her path to become a global pop phenomenon. Lido underwent major reconstructive surgery, including rhinoplasty, hair transplantation, and a complete skin graft. And so, darling Clementine was born, and music history was made. The rainbows, so pretty, I touch the sky. Darling Clementine is nostalgia. Darling Clementine is the mint julep at the Kentucky Derby. Darling Clementine is an igloo. Like most people, I was a little scared of Lido Pimiente. She was so angry. Darling Clementine, mm. she's as gentle and comforting as warm yogurt. The world really just needed something refreshing, something vibrant, and something we've never seen before. Her becoming this waif-like white woman was a stroke of genius. Do I miss Lido Pimienta? <laughs> but is Darling Clementine just... Yeah. Lido, as a Colombian-Canadian artist who... Oh, you can call me Clem. And actually, I'm just Canadian. Okay, Clem. Well, what's changed for you? For one, there is no more Lido Pimienta. And I don't see race anymore. I don't see color. I feel less angry. I'm a huge success. I'm skinny, which is my greatest talent, and um, I've made it. All I had to change was everything. 